Where have you been? Where have I been? I thought you were on vacation. You heard that this channel was dead? Excuse me? <laughs>What's up, coral people? If you're new here, my name is Remy, and this is the Bahama Llama Coral YouTube channel. So it's been a while since I last posted, so the algorithm absolutely hates me. So if you could do me a favor and go ahead and like, subscribe, and hit that bell notification so you know whenever I upload new videos. Okay, so what happened? Where did the channel go? Why did I stop posting? All of these questions are answered right here. Uh, this is one personal favorite of mine. I actually follow his channel uh, before we talked about him and then uh, he agreed to do some videos for us. It's, he's in the uh, comments here, Bahama Llama Coral Remy. Ah, is, Remy, he, is he here? Yeah, he is in the comments. Can you oh, refresh right the on. comments too? Uh, he's in the comments, but yeah, Remy is going to join the team. He's going to uh, make a, about a video, maybe two, one and a half videos or so a week. Uh, there's going to be also be on that bulk resupply saltwater aquarium channel. But Remy, man, uh, the way he pitches, he's a radio DJ in his other time. So like his storytelling, his personality, his energy is really fun. Uh, all of his videos that he does, I just thoroughly enjoy. Mm -hmm. um, so we're going to see some videos from him. Actually, I think I got him started on uh, one of his first videos or first few videos is going to be the what it takes to set up a macro algae display nano tank. Mm -hmm. uh, so he's going to go through all the gear and stuff that he's choosing for that. I watched it and I was like, man, this guy's got personality. Yeah. Uh, and then I didn't know about the radio, radio DJ thing. And after I heard that, like, I totally understood. <laughs> uh, we were like, ah, oh, this guy shares like our DNA. Yeah. And uh, just like, man, wouldn't it be awesome? Yeah. And there he is. Awesome. Uh, so it's awesome. Uh, welcome aboard. Whoop. There it is. I've been making videos for BRS for about a month now, and it's been a lot of fun. And I want you to know that there was a lot that went into this decision. It was talks with Ryan, it was talks with Randy, it was a couple of weeks of just kind of gathering my thoughts to see you know, how I wanted to go about doing this. I've had a lot of comments from people that say I sold out or BRS continues to just buy everything, when in reality, the universe is always expanding, so I think we should be too. And BRS, and myself, and you. I love the crab metaphor. A crab placed alone in a bucket will easily escape, but if you place a crab in there with a bunch of other crabs, when that crab tries to escape, it gets pulled back down into the bucket. I don't think it's anyone's fault, I just think it's how we're wired as humans. The easy thing to do is to ridicule somebody about a decision that they made to put them in a better position overall. The hard thing to do is say, hey, congrats. Go kill it. I'm no saint. I've been there too, but there is already enough irrelevant drama in this hobby. I don't want to dwell on any of the negative comments or the selling out as people say it is, but uh, I do want to say that, yeah, those, those kinds of things hurt feelings and they make you second guess things. But in the long run, I know that this decision is a good decision for me. And one of the pluses was they immediately were like, you don't have to get rid of the llama channel. That's not something we're gonna force you to do. Sure, my time is gonna be more limited now to make videos here, but that's gonna allow me to explore alternative avenues, longer form videos, things like that. Another plus, and you've heard me talk about this before, I've always complained that I'm not a big fan of editing. It just takes so long to do, and so I got an editor. If you've been in the reefing hobby for a little bit, you probably already know him. He goes by King Tide Corals on YouTube and on Instagram. His name is Blaine. He's hungry, he's got what it takes, and he's taking a lot off my plate right now, and I gotta say thank you so much to Blaine. And it's also nice to have somebody in the hobby that like knows all the weird terms that we use. I can't imagine if I had an editor outside of this hobby trying to figure out what a protein skimmer was or macro algae, the list goes on and on. To those who have reached out, thank you so much for the support. Ryan and Randy have been so supportive through this entire process. I can't wait to go to Minnesota. I can't wait to see the facility. I can't wait to continue making videos for them. So it's been a fun process so far. And from my perspective, a very celebratory one. I, I think that, you know, after making two years of videos every single week, this is that thing where you go from the minors to the majors. So I'm very excited about this move. And I think I owe you just a little bit of an update on all of my tanks in the room. I get questions about Uno and Dos almost daily. They are doing well. 
Uh, they're fattening up. They actually look like real fish now, which is pretty exciting. I have not done much with their tanks. Don't judge me too hard. They will be moving to a new tank here very soon. They're actually gonna be moving to this bad boy right here. If you've been following along on the Bulk Reef Supply YouTube page, you'll notice that this is the macro algae display that I have been documenting for the last several weeks. I really think they're gonna do great in that tank. I also get a lot of questions on the clownfish breeding program. I have halted it at the moment. The two parent clownfish are still spawning every two weeks, so I'll get eggs. And then eight days later, those eggs will be gone and the whole tank gets a snack of baby clownfish fry and then they'll spawn again four or five days later. So it's a cycle. It's nice because I know that whenever I want to turn that clownfish breeding program back on, that I can. I've kind of let the two tanks behind me go. The lights aren't on right now, but uh, I've let them go because I'm going to start a cleaning series here on the Bulk Reef Supply YouTube channel as well. And... I'll say this, they're probably gonna get replaced here in the next couple months with something cleaner, something bigger, new projects. It's all exciting stuff. And if you haven't noticed yet, girl, I got them blinds. All it took was that BRS contract and boom, blinds. After almost three years of this channel, I have removed the cardboard and replaced it with beautiful white blinds from blinds.com. I hit up that Labor Day sale, and honestly, I, I saved a lot of money, so. And oddly enough, I've received requests for little pieces of the cardboard uh, from the window, so if you want like a squared little piece of cardboard, I can sign it, I guess, and maybe stick it in an envelope with some stickers. Uh, let me know in the comments section below. In the meantime, oh yes, we're here. Check out OSA Scott Crow. <laughs> is doing some amazing things as per usual. They just got another location and shout out to Allie. I believe she's gonna be the one that's managing that store. And of course, make sure to check out OSA, Ocean State Aquatics on all the socials, the most entertaining group of employees and silently kind of expanding a lot under the radar. And the next thing you know, they're gonna be super huge, maybe even national, we'll see. And one last thing before I go, Aquashella Dallas is coming up Halloween weekend. Get your tickets now. These go really fast. I won't be able to be there to defend my title. I'm going to take that weekend. I've got some work stuff. I've also got Halloween with the kids. So I really want to be there for them on Halloween. If you got kids, you know what I'm talking about. And I hope to get back on the Aquashella circuit as soon as possible. So if you're in the Dallas area or you're going to be traveling, Make sure to hit up Aquashella. That aqua crib gets better and better every single time. And you're going to get some amazing frags as well. I missed you. I really did. And I'm glad to be back. Uh, I don't know when the next video will be, but uh, it'll be soon. I know, you don't trust me. We, we're having trust issues right now. I'm going to get that. Totally understand. Oh, you remember how I mentioned that the algorithm hates me? If you could, just real quick, like, subscribe, hit the bell notification so that the algorithm won't hate me anymore and you'll, you'll be notified whenever I upload new videos, okay? Oh, I just got back from Turks and Caicos. If you have never been to Turks and Caicos, you should go to Turks and Caicos because I feel like there aren't too many places that I've been to, exotic, international, whatever, where you can just snorkel off the beach and there's coral reefs everywhere. We went to Beaches Resort, which is on the Turks and Caicos Islands there, and it was pretty awesome. Really nice, clean beach, just an awesome, awesome experience overall. So, and if you haven't yet, make sure, there she goes. Well, this light just went out, so I guess it means it's time for me to leave. Be safe out there, and I'll see you in the next one.